if a hug isn't enough to cheer you up this blue Monday, how about a freezing cold dip instead? Do you indulge? I do. Me too. I do. You yeah. like it? I feel euphoric after. It, it's something about yeah. it, isn't there? Yeah. So research has found that cold water therapy can help us feel happy. We're joined by, of course, the, the world's number one advocate, the Iceman himself, Vim Hof, live from Amsterdam. Good morning, Vim. Lovely to have you with us. How's life? Yeah, great. Uh, it, Oh, oh, the lines are the, the lines a bit dodgy, Vim, but we'll carry on and just see if we can if we can make it work. So, um, why do you think January is such an important time, Vim, for people to to embrace uh, the cold water? Yes, dark and cold times has uh, absolute negative consequences on our biochemistry. If you go into the cold, then you are able to change the biochemistry into good feel hormones. Yes. So when, when you um, go into cold water, or you do uh, experience cold water swimming, uh, Wim Hof, what do you need to keep in mind? Because there is a lot of safety precautions. You don't, don't, you know, there's steps to take before you just dive into cold water, isn't there? Yeah, in, in Great Britain, there are uh, like four and a half million people going into cold water dips now. And that means in your local environment, there are people doing it. Go always with somebody else. That's what I say. And start with fi uh, uh, cold showers. 15 seconds, second day, 30, 45. When you reach one and a half minutes into the cold shower, like six days, then your vascular system is adapted. Then you are able to go outside in a natural body of water for, say, two minutes until you feel tranquil. That's the exercise. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? <laughs> Somebody's <that>. birthday there. <laughs> Vim, what is it about cold water? Like, I get up, I go to my local pond, I, I'm kind of half dreading it, and then I get in, and within 30 seconds, I have a huge smile on my face. What's going on in my body when that's happening? 250% more dopamine. It's equal to say cocaine, only this is get high on your own supply. Okay. It's really for free, it's amazing, it's powerful, and you exercise your body and your mind at the same time to the best. Um, brilliant. Uh, could you, could you talk? <laughs> I'm loving all these little graphics. Wonderful, isn't it? They're great. Um, could you take us through um, some breathing exercises that you do so we can, you know, uh, psych ourselves up for this cold water swimming? What you do uh, before you go in, long, deep breaths and set your mind. So when you're getting in, stay with the breath, long, out breath. And then the body is able to adapt to the cold. If you go shallow, the body will have difficulties. But if you go long out breaths, then the body perfectly adapts. I mean, I like that anyway, even if you're not in cold water, those long breaths are lovely. Oh, yeah. So, Vim, we've got the three steps to the Vim's three steps to happiness using the cold, which we've talked a little bit about, controlling the breathing, but also training your mind to focus on the positives. Can you talk us through that a little bit? Yes, the mind is very able uh, to program the body to face the stress of the cold water. So, before you go in, you set your mind. Once you do that, the body is filling up with adrenaline. And then uh, you go in and you find yourself perfectly okay. And what that means is you are exercising your mind, which you can use to face stressful situations in daily life. Amazing how that works. Lovely. Uh, uh, Wim, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I like the graphic again. Um, Wim Hof, I have Thank been you. doing the, the ice baths. I can go for about two minutes. Very good. But what I'm finding is my feet and my toes are in agony. Is, is it cheating if I wear socks? No. Uh, what you do, uh, if you have... Uh, uh, if you suffer from 
cold feet and or hands, those are the extremities. So they have a different physiology. When you feel that, you go and put the hands and or feet alone into cold water until you feel no more the cold as uh, painful. When you do that, then afterwards you can go fully and then, it, then there is no pain anymore. That is a really good tip, no. a really good tip. Ben, before we let you go, can you, uh, can you talk us through and demo the, the horse breath technique for us? Yes. Foot up. Oh, where are we going with this? Ooh la la. Oh. Look, oh, he's a bit red. Yeah. <laughs> this is a bit more extensive yeah. than I thought it was yeah. going to be. I thought it would be more of a, a breathing thing. Like a, there we incredible. go. Go like this. In a horse stance. Like so. Mm. Oh. 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 Yes! Thank you, Frank. Of course, you can prolong this. Lovely. Thank you, Wim Hof. Thank you. I'm going to practice that. Oh, we're, we're still we're, we're doing it again. Still going. Oh. We've got to go now, okay. Wim. Thank you so much. Thank you, Wim Hof. I'm going to practice that and thank you for all those tips. It's been really helpful. Lovely. Thank Thanks, you. Wim. Bye. Take care.